Alright, so here we go. Haven't done video lately, so I thought I'd get you one since I don't have the greenhouse up yet. There's not a lot going on. We had freezing weather for like two days, two, light, two nights. My mom's, I've got a little bud there. This is the white ones, and I got one there. I love the smell of this. These little yellow ones are champs, so they have just outdone themselves. They are beautiful. Now, what I did, if you remember, of course, there's an airplane going over. Why not? Um, I cut these back late summer because they bloomed all summer. It was just awesome. So, I cut them back because I wanted them to bloom in the fall. So, I cut them back, and, um, and that's what they're doing. They started blooming all over again, so they're pretty. This little slow getting back, it's a white one. And the yellow ones are just like I said, are champ. They just bloom like crazy. And uh, these are the dark brown ones. And they, maybe they're going to bloom later or something, but they sure haven't put any buds. Uh, the reason the plants are all here is, like I said, we had 32 degree weather. And I had to cover everything. Let's go down here. Um... I come out and I sit out here and just watch the birds eat. There's some little summer flower blooming. Look at that. Or not summer, but winter flower blooming almost. Can you see it? <laughs> it's just weird. Weird, weird stuff. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Any of y'all know? Let me know what that might be. Let's get out of the light. There we go. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's the closure of the plant. Anyway. I had a bloom on my rose, and whenever I covered it up, apparently I knocked it off. But I went ahead and cut the roses back, and I had a lot of this new growth out. And I knew those freezing temperatures would kill it if I didn't get it covered up, kind of keep it warm, because like I said, I don't have my greenhouse up yet. And uh, he's wanting to do some work on the roof, and I can't get it put back up right now. The trees did good. They did not hurt themselves or anything. These, uh oh, I see a little chewer. I don't know where he's at. I wonder if he's still here. Uh, stone gone little caterpillars. Uh, the butterflies, of course, lays the eggs. And then they chew on your plants, on your tree. They like the citrus tree for some reason. And I don't see them anywhere, so I don't know, but, uh, they look like bird poop. It's just the weirdest thing. And it stays wet just like bird poop would. It's just weird. But anyway, uh, here's the crepe myrtles. They're going to kind of die back. And then I need to plant them. Um, somebody's burning trash. It bothers me whenever they breathe in that smoke or whatever. But yeah, everything's doing all right. Um, I planted some little citrus trees out here. This garden was an epic fail. It just, it was, so, was too much sun on it, and it just killed everything. Uh, and I had the little monsters that come along and ate my watermelons and stuff. But uh, here's one of them. I just knocked it over. Um, tried to put little sticks or something. See, maybe somebody would see it or something. Let's try to try to get him back up a little bit. I don't want to get my hands all dirty. But there, yeah, here we go. Uh, can't be helped, huh? So anyway... <laughs> the bird didn't realize I was here. He's going, oh my god, there's people there. There's not supposed to be people there. What's going on? Anyway, we'll pet him back at... I know, chickadees, stop fussing at me. I will get out of your way in a minute. Jeez. Angry little things. Um, so there's one. Here's another one. And those are those, and there's another one there. And it looked like that one, no, it's still here. I sort of said it may have died, but no, it's still here. Right there it is. Those are those little cuties that you get. You can save the seeds and plant them, because that's what I did. And they did good. Uh, I had them in the pots for a while. And since it got to where it's not quite so doggone hot, um, and of course the weeds. My goodness. Oh, that's a briar. Ow, ow, ow. I know, chickadees. Hang on. Hang on. I'll be out of your little territory in just a minute. 
<laughs> the birds this morning feeding. They don't want to be interrupted. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, everything's doing good. I had a lemon on the tree. I went ahead and picked it off because I was afraid it might freeze and it can uh, go ahead and finish ripening in the house. But, uh, so it did real good. I'm, I'm surprised that it did that well. Um, I had, I had to cut off the top of, uh, one of these trees. And I stuck it in the ground there. And it's been there for a couple weeks now, and it's staying green. So I'm hoping it might root. If it does, yay. The tomatoes I took, they got tall and lengthy. I took and cut them off, and they're putting out new shoots. And maybe I'll get some tomatoes off of them. But anyway, of course, we're here in Florida, so that makes a difference. It's, it doesn't get too cool or whatever. I mean, it gets to them. 30-some every now and then, but uh, still, it, it's not bad. And it's only like for a couple of days, and then we warm back up, so a little more easier to toler tolerate than it is uh, where y'all are at up north, where you've got all that cold. I have a friend in Michigan, she said, we got snow and it ain't going away. And I said, oh my gosh. Uh, that's just the way it is. So anyway, that's about it. I'll zoom in on the bird feeder for a little bit. Let y'all see the birds. But I'm not close enough. Let me grab my coffee and let's go over here and sit on the steps. Is what I do a lot of a morning. I'll come over here and I'll sit down on the steps and watch the birds and have my coffee and just kind of enjoy it. Oh. Too high. There we go, but we got to be right there. All right. So I'm gonna leave it on the birds, and I'll sit here and talk to you for a little bit. Um, looking forward to maybe planting seeds again this year, but I will not plant them as early as I did because this is my first year in Florida, so I was not sure what to expect. I just didn't know, and. Um, that's as far as it goes. So I planted them in the uh, thing just a little bit too early. There's my chickadee. The one that's fussing at me a while ago. Um, just a little bit. Maybe like that. And let's zoom it in. If we can get any more, I think that's all I can do. I hear another bird fussing too. I just think it's hilarious. They, um, there's a chickadee. He'll sit up and buzz at you. And they pick out mostly the sunflower seeds. That's what they love. They love the sunflower seeds. Usually they'll get one, fly off, go crack it, eat it, then come back. So, you know. But, I mean, I can see it here, and that doesn't bother them. Sometimes the cardinals. So i got a second little feed or two up there that I've been putting stuff in. So, uh, Of course, they get mad every time I go out there and fly off. And it takes them a while to come back. But anyway, this was a really good summer. Um, my The underground hoses did not, they, was, they just did not do good at all. I don't know if it's because of the sand and it doesn't let them leak out like it was, but it just, it wasn't worth it. It really wasn't. So I spent all that money on those and they just didn't work that well. Uh, I went ahead and pulled them up out of the ground. Um, and as I said, he's going to be doing some work on the roof, so I had to clean all this out over here where I was at. So that's the reason I went ahead and cut the tomatoes back and you know, hoping they put out new shoots and stuff. Um, so anyway. That's pretty much it. Um, this is Lavender Rose. At Lavender Rose's garden. Uh, appreciate you coming by and checking it out. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and I'll try to get more videos up. There's just not much going on right now. Um, 
until I get the greenhouse up and then it'll be all gung-ho again. <laughs> anyway.